we interrupt, oh my god, this video with tails in the face. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Mun Mun, welcome back to my channel. For those that have watched a few of my recent hauls, you may recognize this little lovely fellow. Now, I love vintage compacts. They are so beautiful, so romantic, and if you find one in really good condition like this, it does have an air of elegance and just beauty about it. It's also a little bit of vintage that is practical and you can take around with you all day and every day. In saying that, I have friends that have vintage compacts that have actually never used them for their intended purpose. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to turn a vintage compact into a pressed powder compact. So first, I'm going to start off by cleaning out the compact. I am going to give her a thorough cleaning with some 100% alcohol and some tissues. You can also use cotton swabs, cotton wipes, or anything really just to get in there and disinfect her properly. Now that she's all clean, I am going to be replacing the old powder with this. This is a Japanese brand which I cannot actually pronounce and it is the Yugari Supin Powder. It is a really beautiful lightweight translucent powder with a rose scent which I love and I thought because this smells like roses and this has roses this would be the perfect fit. has been turned into an actual powder we are going to gently spoon it into our vintage compact but as we go we are going to spritz it with a little bit of the alcohol in your compact, give it a couple of final spritzes of alcohol before laying a tissue over it and pressing down with a round coin. Now I recommend disinfecting the coin with the alcohol before you do so and you just sort of keep going until you're satisfied with it. Keep in mind that it will never look the way it did when it came out of the factory but you can get it pretty close. Let it dry for a couple of hours to let the alcohol evaporate. And she is done. So she will dry until probably tomorrow I'll give her just to make sure the alcohol has gone all the way through. And then you can start carrying her around and if you've compressed it really well, she shouldn't crack or break. This is a really easy way to get some use out of your vintage compacts. You don't have to put translucent powder, you can put in foundation powders, rouge, any powder of any kind that you can apply to your face on the go. You can even split it and maybe put bronzer on one side and a highlighter on the other if you just want a little freshen up along the way. So this is really up to you. Now originally ladies would have had a metal compact and they would have taken the pan out and given it to a makeup counter lady who then would have custom made the face powder. There's a really great video going around on the internet showing a lady mixing all these crazy colors together and when she blends it all together, it comes out like porcelain skin. It is so beautiful. So big companies such as Revlon and Max Factor, you would have either bought a extra pan insert 
or you would have just given them your compact and they would have filled it for you. A lot of places have special machines to compress the powder and that way you use less packaging, less waste and it's a lot better for the environment. It's a little bit sad that we've moved all to plastic packaging but I still try to buy metal packaging when I can. And that is everything that I have for you today. I am so glad you could come along with me on this new DIY adventure. It was a lot of fun and I hope you put this DIY to the test yourself. Please let me know how you go, tag me in any of your images, I'd love to see your vintage compacts. I am a sucker for them, even though I don't have a lot, the ones I do have I treasure deeply. If you'd like to, feel free to subscribe or follow me on any of my socials, I'd love to have you along for the journey. Everything you need is in the description box below, including a link to my blog which has a step-by-step -step tutorial on everything you just saw here including some more history and information about vintage compacts and I also share one of my favorite books about the history of cosmetic compacts. It is amazing so be sure to check that out. But until then I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I'll see you all then. Bye!